Since Johann Philipps Heiss created the first electric speaker in 1861, capable of reproducing clear tones, speakers have come a long way. Many of them offer different sleek and modern designs that can help blend in with your existing home decor. If you love to listen to audio at home, you'll want to add a speaker that can fill up your space with your favorite music or podcasts without taking too much space or creating too much clutter. Some will even become your companion and help you with your day-to-day -day task or support multi-room feature that brings your audio from one room to the next. Hi, I'm Daigo, a tester at ratings.com, where we help you find the best products for your needs. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for the latest videos or check out the website for the full article. In this episode, we will show you the nine best home speakers in 2021 that we've tested so far. We will be breaking them down into five categories, the best home speaker, the best home speaker for music, the best home speaker for voice assistant, the best budget home speaker, and lastly, the best cheap home speaker. As with all of our picks, we choose these based on our own testing, but we also consider other factors as well, such as price, availability, and feedback from the community. We've tested over 50 speakers so far, so if there's a speaker that you really like that didn't make the list, be sure to let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to skip straight to a section of the video, use the chapter selector below. Please note we won't be looking at bookshelf speakers or audio system speakers since we do not test them at the moment. So when we talk about wired speakers, we're referring to a speaker that are required to always be connected to a power outlet. The best home speaker that we've tested is a Sonos Move. Like the name indicates, the speaker is extremely portable thanks to its Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, which makes it easier to move from room to room as needed. It even has a handle to carry it wherever you go and has a 10 hour battery life, which should be enough to play your favorite tunes before returning it to its charging dock. Its sleek design can blend with most decor. It has Alexa and Google Assistant built in, which can understand you easily even when you are far away. The speaker can auto calibrate while in Wi-Fi mode using auto TruePlay feature. TruePlay measures how sound reflects off walls, furniture, and other surfaces in the room in order to calibrate the speaker where it has been placed. Using the built-in mic on the move, this feature takes 20 seconds to perform the room correction once it has been moved. Using the Sonos App S2 on iOS or Android, you can customize the bass and the treble with sliders and pair it with multiple Sonos speakers to amplify the audio or play music across different rooms in your house. The move has a very balanced sound profile, making it suitable for listening to various types of audio content like podcasts or music. It can reproduce a deep bass and the move has one of the lowest frequency extensions of the speakers that we've tested so far. It lacks a little in the low bass, which could disappoint users who prefer bass heavy music like EDM or hip hop, though most small speakers lack in that regard. Also, the speaker down mixes stereo content into mono, but it has good directivity, so audio still sounds clear from most angles. If you prefer a home speaker that can play stereo content, then consider the Google Home Max. Though it is not as portable as the Sonos Move due to its wire design, it still has good overall performance. When placed horizontally, it can play stereo content, resulting in a soundstage that feels immersive. As long as the mic is on, you can also use smart sound to adapt the speaker to your environment by measuring the acoustics of your space. We found this feature creates a well-balanced sound profile, which makes it suitable for different types of audio content. Using the companion app, Google Home, you can also adjust the bass and the treble or connect it to another Google Home speaker for stereo pairing. Like the Sonos Move, you can also play audio across multiple rooms. If you love listening to music at home, then consider the Sonos 5, which is the best home speaker for music that we've tested so far. The Sonos 5 has a sleek design with a graphite grill that can be placed horizontally for stereo audio or vertical for mono audio. The speaker is not very portable and does not offer Bluetooth connectivity. However, due to its wired design, it can always be connected to your Wi-Fi, so you can always play music without the interruption of a phone call or limited Bluetooth range. It also has an aux connection in the back if needed. The Sonos 5 has touch controls on the top to adjust the volume or to skip a track. However, most of the controls are done in the Sonos app S2. There, you will be able to access the bass and treble sliders. For those who have an iOS device, you can calibrate the speaker to the room you place it in using the TruePlay feature by using the microphone of your phone. With this feature turned on, their sound profile is pretty neutral, though it can sound a bit bright. When used in stereo mode, the sound stage is quite good, which should be suitable for a lot of different music jars. If one Sonos 5 is not enough for you, then you can also pair it with other Sonos speakers to create a stereo pair or to amplify your music across a large room for a party or multi-room to play multiple speakers across multiple rooms in your home.
Unfortunately, it does not support built-in voice assistant, and there's a lot of compression at max volume. It is also not rated for dust or water resistance. However, Sonos claims that it is safe to use in humidity environments like your bathroom, though we do not test for this. If you're looking for a speaker with a little bit more customization features, then consider the Ultimate Ear Hyperboom. It has a full graphic EQ that lets you customize its sound to your liking. It can get quite loud without too much compression at max volume. It offers a great soundstage, but be sure to properly orient the drivers to take full advantage of its stereo sound. Unlike the Sonos, it offers more connectivity options like Bluetooth and optical, but it does not have any Wi-Fi capabilities. However, its battery life lasts almost 24 hours on a single charge, so you can move it around your house a lot easier or even take it outside. It does not have multi-room, but the companion app lets you pair another Hyperboom speaker for stereo pairing or to amplify your audio. If you love using the aid of a voice assistant for your day-to-day -day tasks, then consider the Apple HomePod as the best performing home speaker for voice assistant that we've tested. This wired speaker has a built-in Siri voice assistant and offers excellent performance in that regard. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. You can activate Siri with your voice and it does an excellent job at understanding you whether you are far away or in a noisy room. The smart speaker can be a great addition to your Apple ecosystem since its companion app is only available on iOS devices. You can add another HomePod for stereo pair, multi-room, or play music across a crowded party. Thanks to its 360 degree design, it offers outstanding immersive soundstage for your music. However, it does not offer any functionality with Android devices. Unfortunately, you cannot turn off Siri and does not have a physical mute button. If you would like a speaker that offers similar voice assistant performance, but with Android and iOS capability, then consider the Bose Home Speaker 500. The speaker has both Alexa and Google Assistant built in. It can register your commands even if you are far away or in a noisy environment. There is even a switch to turn it off when you want to mute the assistant. It also comes with a display screen to show you time as well as information about music you are listening to, which is handy. The speaker's 360 degree design also offers an amazing immersive soundstage, but it is not quite as impressive as the HomePod. The sound profile could be a little bit dull due to their unemphasized treble range compared to the HomePod's neutral and balanced sound profile. If you're on a budget and want to get the most of a home speaker, then consider the Ultimate Ears Wonderboom 2. It comes in several colors so that you can choose the design aesthetics that best fits your style. The small and portable speaker can play stereo content and has an immersive 360 degree soundstage that is open and large. It comes with a 12 hour battery life and it even has an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance, though we do not currently test for this. On that note, it is one of the only speakers that we've tested that is advertised to float in water for those pool enthusiasts. Unfortunately, like most small speakers, it does not get very loud and it struggles to reproduce low bass, so it may not be ideal to use in a large room. Fortunately, you can always pair two Wonderboom 2s for a large room or to play music on both speakers by the pool. The Amazon Echo Dot Gen 4 is the best cheap speaker that we've tested. This wire-only speaker comes with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. It offers built-in Amazon Alexa support and does an excellent job at understanding you in noisy settings or when you are far away. This speaker offers a balanced mid-range that can reproduce vocals and lead instruments clearly, but they can sound a bit dark or dull. You can always pair two of these speakers together in order to create a stereo pair or boost music across a large room. Unfortunately, the speaker downmixes stereo into mono, which is not very immersive. That said, it is still a solid choice for its price. If you're looking for another bang for your buck speaker, then also consider the Sony SRS XB12. It offers a better soundstage than the Echo Dot Gen 4, even while downmixing stereo into mono. The speaker does not get very loud and offers minimal compression artifact at max volume. Unfortunately, it lacks customization and does not have a voice assistant built in, which could be useful for a home speaker. The Bose Soundlink Resolve is a stylish, portable Bluetooth speaker that is a solid option for listeners who prefer or are looking for a smaller speaker. However, like most small speakers, it can struggle to reproduce a low bass and it doesn't get very loud. The Amazon Echo Gem 4 is a small speaker with built-in Alexa capabilities that offer a very good performance for voice assistant. However, it isn't as versatile as the Apple HomePod. It is also more expensive than the Echo Dot Gen 4, but it does have a better balanced sound profile and can get louder. 
The Anchor Soundcore Flare 2 is a small, portable Bluetooth speaker in the budget range that comes with a graphic EQ to customize the sound. Though, it is not as well built as the Ultimate Ears Wonder Boom, and it doesn't get as loud. The Sony SRS XB43 is a portable speaker with customizable lighting. Its sound profile isn't very well balanced, but it has a graphic EQ in its companion app and a 15-hour battery life. Unfortunately, it does not have a built-in voice assistant, so it uses the voice assistant from your paired smartphone. The JBL Boombox 2 is a popular choice for certain people. It offers a whopping 24-hour battery life, and it can get very loud, which is good for large rooms or parties, though it can get quite a lot of compression artifact at a max volume, and it has a somewhat narrow soundstage. It also lacks EQ customization. So what do you think of our picks? Have you bought one? Let us know below, and be sure to tell us if there's any other speaker that you'd recommend. Also, we are currently hiring in our offices in Montreal for various positions. So if you want to help people find the best products for their needs, have a look at our career page on our website. You can check out all of those picks on our article link below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. You can also become an insider on our website for early access to our latest results. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.